Hey guys, I'm uh, back on the uh, Emerson R167. So uh, I heated up the uh, mail plug here with the soldering iron and uh, didn't make any change at all. So I went on and just uh, skint back some of the wiring which I can protect with some heat shrink. Uh, back here just uh, about an inch or so out from the uh, output transformer on the primary side. As you can see, I'm still reading open but I do want to do an additional test just to make sure that my uh, leads uh, have uh, connectivity. So let me grab my other uh, VOM here. Okay guys, what I'm doing, I've got uh, my other uh, just VOM here looking again at these uh, two primary leads running back uh, toward the output transformer. And all I'm really doing here is just shorting out the uh, the two leads and I just wanted to make sure that would indicate that I've got continuity here I'll be back to the uh, plug and I do uh, the reason you see a resistance reading now is because I've got my uh, you know VOM hooked up so I'm just reading the internal resistance there of that So that indicates my uh, lead length and my connection points or solder joints down here all the way to the male connector are good. So uh, let me pull the speaker completely out and uh, we'll look at removing the uh, output transformer here from the uh, speaker uh, so we can just closer inspect those uh, primary leads, see if we can find a break somewhere. Okay guys, I've got the uh, speaker out and I'm uh, just looking at this. Uh, I don't see any big issues. Um, this is interesting here. You see this lead here. It's kind of been capped off, but when I look at that, that looks like that ties back to the fill coil. So probably a humbucking coil would be my uh, speculation on that, just not used. So um, let me get the uh, transformer here removed from the speaker and then uh, we'll uh, just kind of cut into it see what we've got here. Okay I was able to get the uh, transformer uh, physically loose here just bringing these tabs up slowly without breaking them and um, so this connection point here that had this piece of um, shrink over the top of it that was um, the uh, output side of the uh, output transformer so the secondary side and again don't see it on the schematic but uh, there must be a humbucking coil here being utilized in the speaker so uh, let me get this desoldered here, here, and I'm going to just go ahead and cut these leads at this point. We'll splice them back together if we're able to unwrap this uh, transformer here and see any damage or breaks here uh, close to the surface that we can repair. Okay guys, just to uh, triple check myself, I went on and cut those leads and uh, tinned up the, uh, the, the lead dressings there. And uh, you can see it's still uh, completely open. One thing I haven't done is uh, check the uh, output side of the uh, transformer disconnected from the uh, speaker or fuel coil. It goes back to the humbucking coil. So we've got DC resistance there as you can see, about 0.4 ohms. So we definitely have an issue here Let's double check it one more time or triple check. So there you go, it's uh, completely open here. Let's move these leads around. And nothing's happening. So, tell you what I'll do, I'll uh, cut into these first few layers right here and uh, see if I can find a uh, broke wire uh, just right underneath the uh, the top side here. So guys here's where I'm at so far. Just want to let you know exacto knife 
and just cutting this open very very slowly one layer at a time so uh, let me go ahead and continue to work this down and get this next layer off so we can check here the uh, solder connections back to the uh, uh, primary we can see if the problem here lies on the surface or if it's deep into the uh, transformer okay guys check this out I've got uh, another layer removed and looks like this lead right here is the open lead look at this So it looks like there's my break. If we're lucky, there may be an additional one. Let's see if that's showing up here. Get something. Maybe that break is only, what, a half an inch or so? back up in this transformer so let me uh, continue to cut away and uh, let's see if we can find this other lead maybe we can uh, salvage this thing okay guys I'm back with you and uh, I was showing some picture in picture there just a minute ago of some close-up shots of the repairs I was uh, successfully uh, able to make on the uh, output transformer or at least I hope Again, we've got to plug it back into the radio, make sure we got some sound. But I uh, got the uh, old speaker cleaned up as well. Again, this radio was in fabulous shape. And um, just a little deep cleaning here. And you can see I've got the uh, transformer, output transformer, back uh, attached to the uh, speaker frame itself. And got all the heat shrink applied. And uh, one other thing, too, I just want to show you guys. You may have a use for it someday. Um, this had this old electrical tape or some other tape here um, to hold these, uh, the speaker cable together. And uh, you guys are probably familiar with it, but you can pick up some uh, rescue tape or silicone tape, and it stretches it adheres to itself. And uh, that's what's used here after applying the uh, heat shrink, doing the soldering, and then I'm just using this to keep the, uh, the wires together. So again, it adheres to itself, and uh, you can pick up a roll at your, um, probably your big box stores. Not, I don't really recall where I got this, but it comes in handy. You can also uh, fix damaged uh, wires insulation. I think the properties on it are 600 volts plus, so... If you've got a, a broken conductor and uh, you can't get heat shrink on it, you don't want to take some other um, uh, method or procedure, you can just use that. So anyway, let's, uh, let me fire up the meter here and uh, let's ohm this thing out again just to make sure that we're good now. Uh, we'll start here again with these uh, two top connection points and we'll look here at the field coil and again the schematic showed around 1800 ohms so we're good there and the two bottom connection points here go back to the uh, primary again of the um, output transformer and that's what was open and you can see now I'm reading about uh, 526 527 ohms again that was not documented on the schematic but uh, that uh, looks correct um, based on my knowledge and uh, previous uh, repairs and restorations and uh, recording of such. So, uh, you know, heck, I'm extremely pleased. So uh, let me bring the radio back over. I know it's not going to play well. It's got some other problems, but let me plug this back in. And uh, let's see uh, what our uh, DC voltage looks like. Uh, running through here to make sure I don't have any other uh, issues in the output transformer and uh, see what the audio quality sounds like on this speaker. Okay guys, here's the uh, radio and the speaker plug back in so you can see we do have audio now uh, leaving the, uh, the speaker. So uh, fantastic. Very fortunate to be able to uh, 
actually make a repair. Now again, Ready has got some other challenges and uh, we'll start out here doing some tube testing here in just a bit. And uh, I'm going to go back through those, uh, especially the, uh, I think it was the 66, uh, my dad mentioned that uh, may be problematic and there may be some others. And again, the radio hasn't been recapped, resistors haven't been checked, so there could be lots of other uh, issues that need to be uh, worked through. But, uh, you know, how fantastic to be able to uh, make the uh, repair on the output transformer. Um, sometimes you get lucky, and uh, other times, you know, it requires a replacement. But um, I think for those out there just getting started in the hobby, you know, don't let those difficult things distract you. If it's already broke, it's already broke. So, uh, heck, try to cut it open. Uh, put some uh, great glasses on that uh, help you see this stuff better. I happen to use uh, these and some other magnifiers and uh, it gives me about a five times magnification and believe me that's what you need to see those uh, wires that are less than the size of a hair so um, you know somewhat tedious time consuming but uh, well worth the uh, efforts just very rewarding so again you can uh, hear the radio play in here on one of the local stations we've, we've got that crazy distortion but again we've got something and the speaker's definitely working. I'll turn it up. So that wraps up this video, folks. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be back here and we'll start doing some additional troubleshooting. And uh, again, probably just start out doing some basic tube testing. I may produce a video on that or just work offline. Thanks again for watching.